Ethereum BTC, the crypto sniper, Francis Hunt talking to you. And uh, this is how we're progressing on Ethereum versus uh, Bitcoin. Um, so the short took place just sub the sevens levels. You were seven ones. You could have been short uh, up at six sevens. Um, nice little rising wedge there before a major spill down. So this is your 240 minutes. Um, there's a bit of a point I want to make here. The target down here, and I'm using um, Bitfinex. Um, there was a slightly eccentric uh, spike on Polynex, which gives an even stronger target downside. Um, that's not to say it won't be made, but it could be. Uh, it could be a bit extreme, and it's not being replicated on the other exchanges. So going on a more conservative draw, um, we're having a 4.8 uh, target, basically at 4.84 um, on the downside. Now it's quite an interesting discussion um, because many moons ago we did highlight to most people's chagrin that um, Ethereum was made its first inverted HVF. I still have the old draw. This is a daily chart now from this is the glory days. Pump, pump, pump all the way up. I think the highest point here is roughly around June. We had our first inverted HVF over there on Ethereum and we warned that overperformance was likely. It made its target. You got a follow-up inverted and it made its target. And what ended up happening is we've had a sustained period since June, uh, the 12th of June, high and we got that set up and break that was in and around the 19th of june and ethereum has not been the same since it has been largely down 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 and it set up this more recent inverted hvf that we're currently now in over here um, and that has a 4.8 target uh, and it can continue to underperform to uh, Bitcoin. Many people get in touch and say, oh, it was up in dollar terms today, you're wrong, and this and that. We're measuring all crypto in terms of Bitcoin. You could be sitting and just hodling Bitcoin, and if Bitcoin and if Ethereum is losing ground to Bitcoin in the crypto space, you should be in Bitcoin, not Ethereum. That's the key point that we make. You need to be in the most powerful relative strength coin and since this period in the 19th we, we've I've continued to downplay Ethereum as a hold I've continued to downplay it because we're in an overperformance potential to the downside and it went down 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 then it looked like it's leveling out but all it set up was a continuation pattern which is what I'm showing you over here um, and now you're getting the breakdown that is occurring so um, remember that people seem to be commenting on uh, the YouTube and they're not understanding what we're trying to achieve we're trying to grow our relative value in crypto in terms of Bitcoin so we get out of Bitcoin when we think alts are going to run uh, and look to get back into Bitcoin with more Bitcoin than before um, if something like Ethereum is losing value and is in a protracted down cycle and is setting up continuations to the downside. I don't care what it's doing in the dollar. Bitcoin is doing more in the dollar. The game is to help build your wealth through uh, accumulating more Bitcoin and Ethereum is not a hold you would have lost. Just to be quite clear on this, this since we called the top, you, um, there was a trade at as high as 15 Point four. In other words, it was 15.4% of a Bitcoin. Today we have a target of 4.8%. 4.8%. That's 70% loss in value according to Bitcoin. We have been bearish Ethereum since this first inverted HVF over here, where it was in and around the 13s and 14s, not its all-time high, but in and around the 13s and 14s, and we warned they can overperform to the downside and Ethereum should be avoided until such time as it reclaims these funnel levels. And overperformance is indeed likely to the downside. And this has continued to be the case. Um, so since hitting the giddy heights of 15.4 and being called short at 13.9, essentially 14s, um, you now have a coin that has got a downside target on its latest setup of at least four eights with possibility also to dip a little lower and is trading five fours. So even if it stopped right here, this pattern fails um, and it can, it's possible. We're trading a probability game, not a guarantee game. If it fails and runs the 72 here, you would uh, at this juncture right now be at five four when you could have been out at 14. 
14% to a Bitcoin versus five and not even five and a half to a Bitcoin. Um, on balance of probabilities, though, I'm staying with my short trade and I'm anticipating or I'm expecting the 4.8%, uh, 0.048 uh, two levels to fall. So that's your update on Ethereum, Bitcoin. Um, I hope people understand what we're trying to benchmark a little better. Um, I think most of you get it, but there are a few people who are a bit confused. Um, and Ethereum remains an underweight and you should overweight, you should be holding your coin in Bitcoin over Ethereum. And and we don't need, on a final sign-off point, we don't need the first 5% when it finally goes. I will let it go, and it will have to start taking out previous inverted HVFs levels before I will get interested. And the early birds and the bottom callers will be in it earlier than me. And one of the reasons why is there were many false dawns all the way down here. And it's just not the game to play. In a major move, you want to be trading with the continuation. You don't want to be calling the reversals. And uh, reversals often end up not reversing. This was a reversal. That was a rally with reversal. Even some people got excited with the trading up there. All it did is set up a large continuation with a new downside level so um, I can't I can't reiterate enough we don't need to be first I will be when it eventually reverses I will be late there will be people who will be before me and that's exactly how I want it to be um, they would have been the same people that called it there 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 here here and been eight times in a row wrong before eventually they're right I don't need the first five to ten percent of the move Ethereum needs to prove to me that it is in a deep-seated cyclical change in trend before I will once again um, have long side interest in it. At the moment, I am erring short to it relative to Bitcoin, and I prefer to hold my cash in Bitcoin, and it's continued to pay. With that, I love you and leave you, and hope you enjoy it. If you want to find out more about how we trained our continuation strategy and uh, how we build our methodology and be part of a community to do that go to themarketsniper.com and you can find more details there okay love you and leave you enjoy and trade small and safe nothing is a recommendation to trade